What was the Apostle Paul's thorn in the flesh? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the one true God. Amen. Thorns are jagged, sharp and piercing objects that can cause pain when they come into contact with the skin. They carry an intimidating appearance, making you reconsider reaching for a berry or plucking a rose. Just imagine the intense discomfort if one were to become deeply embedded in your foot or hand. Metaphorically, Paul experienced a thorn in the flesh, a persistent source of anguish. Remarkably, he endured this suffering without complaint. What's intriguing is that this particular passage in 2 Corinthians is the sole instant in the entire Bible where Paul mentions it. Outside of 2 Corinthians, he remains silent about this affliction. But why did he choose to disclose this information exclusively to the Corinthian church? Let's delve into the reasons. Paul writes, I must go on boasting, though there is nothing to be gained by it. I will go on to visions and revelations of the Lord, on behalf of this man, I will boast, but on my own behalf, I will not boast, except of my weaknesses. Though if I should wish to boast, I would not be a fool, for I would be speaking the truth. But I refrain from it, so that no one may think more of me than he sees in me or hears from me. So, to prevent me from becoming conceited due to the extraordinary nature of the revelations, a thorn was given to me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to trouble me, to keep me from becoming conceited. 2 Corinthians 12, 1 and 5-7 the interpretation presented regarding the thorn in the flesh that the Apostle Paul mentions is one of the many theories proposed by scholars and theologians over the years. It is important to note that the text itself does not explicitly state what the thorn in the flesh was, leaving it open to interpretation. As a result, there have been a variety of opinions on the matter ranging from physical ailments to the spiritual and external challenges faced by Paul. The interpretation suggests that the thorn in the flesh was likely a metaphorical reference to the constant opposition and persecution that Paul faced from false brethren and unbelieving Jews as he travelled and preached. This is a valid interpretation as the New Testament does record instances where Paul had to contend with those who sought to undermine his teachings and disrupt the Christian communities he established. It's essential to recognise that biblical interpretations can vary, and different scholars and theologians may offer different explanations for this particular passage. Some other common interpretations of the thorn in the flesh include physical afflictions, personal weaknesses, or even more abstract notions related to the human condition. Ultimately, the interpretation may vary based on one's theological perspective and the context in which the passage is, consider is considered. It's worth noting that the primary message in 2 Corinthians 12, 7-10 is not about the nature of the thorn in the flesh itself, but about the sufficiency of God's grace 
in the face of human weakness and challenges, regardless of the specific nature of the thorn, Paul's conclusion is that God's grace is enough to sustain him and provide strength in times of difficulty.